So in this new course chapter, what we're going to be doing is downloading Godot, which is the game engine that we are going to be using for this course as well as creating the project and start to import our assets, okay? So first of all, what you have to know whenever you are downloading a game engine is that there are going to be lots of versions. You tend to have the latest version, the stable version, whatever, uh, but also you have some versions that are being tested right now. For example, you can see that currently the latest version is Godot 4.4, but there is also a dev version which is Godot 4.5. So to try to keep this course updated to the latest Godot features, I am going to be using 4.5 uh, dev1. However, I believe that you're going to be able to just follow along with the course with mostly any version that you download, because it's going to be quite simple what we're going to be creating. So if you don't find this exact post over here, because this could uh, be old when you uh, actually take a look at the course, what you can do is over here, you can go to on a previous version, okay? And here you should be finding some part that says go to 4.5. And in this case, we should be downloading 4.5 dev1 that was released on 20 March, 2025. We click over there, download. And over here, we select our platform. In this case, we want Windows and we download the standard version because the .NET version, which is this one, this has support for C Sharp, which is another scripting language that we are not going to be using. So we are going to be just fine with the standard version. So we click over there and the download will start. Now you will have to extract this file, which is quite simple. You just have to firstly left click on it to be able to select it, then right click. And then over here, well, you may find an option if you are on Windows 11 to directly extract all, okay? Or maybe you find here a button that says 7-zip or WinRAR, which are uh, two softwares that allow you to do exactly this, to extract files. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing this with WinRAR, but once again, just use any software that you probably already have installed on your PC or look for some kind of button that says extract. Here you want to press extract and you will find two, um, two um, programs here. One that doesn't have this icon over here, this black icon. This one is the actual Godot, okay? The actual program that we need. This is the console, this is something that we won't use at all. This is just for more advanced stages. So we can even just delete that file. And with this file, you can keep it wherever you want. You can put it on your desktop, on your toolbar, wherever. But just keep it somewhere. And when you double click it, well, Probably if you don't have any kind of project over here, you are going to be seeing this completely empty. First of all, let's go to maximize this. Don't worry if you don't see any kind of project over here. Um, so I am not going to explain all the interface here. We are just going to right away go here to create the project. Also, if you want to download the source code of the project, it's available. So you can directly press here on import and select the, the folder in which you have downloaded the source code. But just to start with this, I'm going to just press create. The first thing I have to give here is a name. I will just uh, call this one game dev uh, course and I will just name it one hour. OK, maybe something like this. And then you will have to select a project path. So I recommend that you have a specific uh, folder um, in which you keep all your projects. So in my case, I have it over here in, in, a, in a folder that's called a uh, letter. And here I have all my projects, but in reality I have here another folder. Okay, this is just for my own organization, but the key thing here is to have a, a folder wherever you want with your project. So I will just select this folder on my case. And here you will just leave there, create folder. It is completely fine because if not, you are going to be having a problem. Um, so you just enable that. And here in the render, you have three options. Okay, you can read here more information on the right. We don't really care about the renderer at this early stage, so we can just go with forward plus, which is the default option. And the same thing with version control metadata. This is something more advanced. We don't care about that at this stage. And lastly, we can just go ahead and create. By the way, edit now, which means that uh, as soon as we create the project, it is going to open up. So indeed, we do want that. So let's press create and wait a couple of seconds. And here indeed, we are in Godot. Now, do not feel overwhelmed by the huge number of Windows tabs that you have by all these things that are happening over here. Don't worry, because by the end of the course, you're going to be able to understand most of these things uh, perfectly fine. 
I understand that as soon as you open something and you start to find dozens of windows, it can be a little bit overwhelming, but trust the process, okay? I am not going to tell you, okay, the same window does this, the import window does this, uh, does this, the file system do, does this, the inspector, etc. Uh, I want you to learn these things as we actually use them. That's the easiest and most straightforward way of learning this in these kind of short courses. Now, the last thing that I want to do in this chapter is to download the assets. Now, what are the assets? The assets are basically the different images, even the audio, if our game had some audio. Basically, all the resources, which includes uh, images, audio, uh, etc. So when, when you want to create your game, there are two main ways. You can either just uh, download some of them. And when you download these assets from somebody that has created them, you can either pay for them or get them for, for free. Okay, it really depends on the specific asset pack. Specifically here on Kenny, okay, you will find dozens of assets completely free. So it's a pretty useful website. And in this case, we're going to be using these two asset packs, Pixel Platformer and Pico 8 City. So we are, uh, we are just going to be downloading um, these assets. Okay, I'm going to be leaving a link to both of these in the description down below, by the way. Uh, so I will just press over their download. You can continue without donating any money. If you wish, you can do that. And the same thing with Pixel Platformer. Download, continue without donating. Now on your downloads, you will have these other two zip files. So I will just uh, delete the zip file of Godot. You can delete that. The important thing is that you keep this file. Um, and what you will do with this is once again, extract them. But what you will try to do here is to extract them to their own folder. So basically, if you double click on them and you open them up, you will see that, well, you have lots of things here. So if we were to extract them just like this, as we did before, it is going to everything like get kind of messy. So a much better way to do this would be to do the following. I will just create a new folder over here and call it Pico 8 and another one for Pixel Platformer. OK, I will put Pico 8 here and Pixel Platformer here. And I will just go ahead here and in Pico 8, I will right click and I will do the same thing that we did with Godot. So extract here. There we go. Now I can delete this zip file. And let's do the same thing, but with our pixel platformer. So right click, extract here. Here we have all the files. So now we can delete the zip. Now, how do we exactly import this inside of Coded? That's quite simple. What we'll do is that we'll select both of these files and we're going to directly cut them or copy them. I will just cut them over here and you will have to navigate to where you have your project uh, folder. In my case, it is exactly over here. So I will just go ahead and directly here paste my assets. Okay, so let's give it a second and there we have it. Once we come back to Godot, you will need a couple of seconds uh, to, to, to leave Godot to load in everything fine and to import all the assets. And you will just be able here to in the file system. So this is the first window that we're going to be taking a look at, which is the file system that basically does that renders or not renders, but shows the files within your project. So in this case, we only have the, these two folders within everything that is inside of them. And also the icon that this is a default file automatically created. So I know that you have lots of things here, uh, but we're going to be breaking them down as lessons go by because most of these things, we are not going to be using them over here. But well, at least right now, you do have your assets completely imported into your Godot project. And with this, this chapter is finished. If you want to watch the full course for complete free, make sure that you check the description of this video because there I am also going to be leaving the link. And then if you like the way I teach, if you were able to learn lots of things, I would recommend that you take my own Godot course that as you can see, it's only 5.5 hours long. So super easily and rapidly you are able to create a Godot game much more complete than what you are currently seeing. And by using the link in the description down below, you're going to be getting a huge discount. But hurry up, because the discount is only for limited time. And the same thing also if you want to learn Unity. Using the link down below, you have a huge discount for limited time. So make sure you enroll right now so that you don't miss your spot.